Hello everyone and welcome to my channel HSC Universe. In this video, I am going to talk about hierarchy of control part 2, which is how to effectively use hierarchy of control at your workplace. If you have not seen part 1 of this video, I would highly recommend to pause this video and watch the first part for better understanding and clarity. The link of the part 1 of this video is in the description. As we have discussed in the previous part, it is very important for an HSC professional to understand hierarchy of control and practice it to their day-to-day -day task. Let's continue our journey on this topic and understand how to use principles of hierarchy of control with examples. Based on the knowledge gained in the first part of the video, let's explore how to effectively use the hierarchy of control in your day-to-day -day task as an HSC professional. In this segment, we will go through each steps of hierarchy of controls in details and provide practical examples for better understanding. Step 1. Identify hazards. The starting point for this exercise will be identifying potential hazards in your workplace or project. This could involve risk assessment, safety audit, HSC observation reports or simply feedback from the work crew. For example, let's imagine at your workplace workers are complaining about the high noise generated by a piece of equipment that is a diesel generator. The same findings were also noted in the recent HSC observation as well as risk assessment. Now you are tasked to determine feasible control measures using a hierarchy of control. If you are not aware about how to determine feasible controls, I would recommend that watch the part 1 of this video which is I have given the link in the description box. Step 2. Prioritize controls. Now it's time to determine the feasible controls and prioritize it based on the hierarchy of controls structure. Do you remember the learnings from the previous video? That is start determining the feasible controls from the top of the hierarchy which is eliminate or substitute first if possible. Let's understand this with the case of the noisy generator at the workplace. As per the hierarchy of controls, our first consideration is eliminating the noise hazard. You may ask the following questions with the group or team while brainstorming that can we eliminate the noise hazard from the source which means stop using the generator at the workplace. Is this possible and feasible? If as a group your response is yes and if normal or routine work can be continued without the use of a diesel generator then this will be your feasible control which you need to implement it. If as a group you conclude that the generator is necessary for routine work and the generator cannot be removed, stopped which means noise cannot be eliminated from the source then you will move to the next control in the hierarchy that is substitution. Substitution. Here following questions may assist in determining feasible controls as a group. Can you replace the noisy diesel generator with a quieter model that can perform the same task effectively? For example, nowadays several models of generators are available which produce less noise than the recommended occupational noise exposure limit. These are also called silent generator. Here you need to consider the cost impact also for the replacement of noisy generator with silent generators while determining this as a feasible control. The above control could be the best option for noise reduction in the long term 
but involves cost impact which may require further consultation and approval from senior management. Let's imagine both elimination and substitution are not practicable or feasible at your workplace. Then you will move to next level which is engineering control. As you have seen in, in the hierarchy of control chart, engineering control is about keeping people away from hazards. So let's explore what measures can be taken in the case of noisy generator to isolate people from the hazards that is noise. Here a few measures could be number one relocate the noisy generator inside a room if there is a possibility or number two create barricading around the generator. Barricading distance will depend on the distance or radius from where the work crew will not be exposed to noise more than the recommended occupational noise exposure limit or another option is use noise absorbent material or an acoustic or noise barriers around the generator. All the above engineering control measures do not guarantee 100% protection and require additional controls. For example, if any work crew decides to go inside the room or inside the barricaded area, then he or she will be exposed to noise. Thus, we need additional controls and we have to move to the next lower level control, administrative control. As explained in part one of this video, administrative controls involve changing the way work is done or giving the work crew more information. Let's understand this in the noisy generator case. Some of the examples of administrative control in the noisy generator case could be additional training about the noise hazards and implemented control measures that is barricading around the noisy generator, warning signs for noisy generators and restriction to enter inside the barricaded area or generator room, having discipline and culture to follow the established rules. Always remember that administrative control works best in combination. PPE or personal protective equipment. Here you may have a question if engineering controls and administrative control in combination could be considered as a physical control, then what is the role of PPE? At the workplace, with effective administrative controls, you may keep most people away from noise hazard, but not everyone. For example, an operator. Moreover, there would be some instance when people may need to go inside the generator room or inside the barricaded area of noisy generator. In that case, you may need to consider the PPE as a control. Again, just remember PPE controls does not work as standalone and must be used with a combination of other higher level of controls. Never forget that PPE is the last line of defense and the least reliable control. So, next time, if you have a hazard at your workplace, such as noise, please do not jump to the use of PPE as a feasible control, for example, use of earplugs or an ear defender. Analyze of the overall scenario, assess the hazard with the team and determine what feasible control measures can be implemented as per the hierarchy of control, especially the top three of hierarchy. Step three, implement controls. Next, it's time to put your plan into action. Implement the feasible controls suitable for your workplace as determined to the previous steps. Step four, monitor and review. Continuously monitor the effectiveness of the feasible control. Ask yourself, is the feasible control still effective? If not, adjust and improve them. Step 5. Train and educate. 
ensure that everyone in your team understand the importance of the hierarchy of control and how to use it remember knowledge is power in summary by following these steps and applying the hierarchy of controls effectively you not only protect your team from the harmful effect of workplace noise but also enhance overall safety and well-being to continue our journey on this topic the next part of this video will explore the hierarchy of control worksheet which will be used to assess the controls for the identified hazards and record keeping and then followed by the fascinating journey of the hierarchy of control including its history and evolution i hope you are excited i am very excited to make those videos so with this till then be safe be happy and i brijesh kumar signing off goodbye suggested methods or questions or any solutions discussed in this video are for examples and general knowledge purpose only the aim is to show you how to use the hierarchy of controls effectively and not necessarily this will solve your workplace problem please remember each workplace problem is unique and must be assessed thoroughly by a competent person to determine the feasible controls 